On May 31, 2012, Carmuse opened its Black River Mining Operations Facility in Pendleton County, Kentucky, to Dr. John Hageman and his environmental science class from Thomas More College. One of the primary objectives of Dr. Hageman's class was to visit an actual line manufacturing operation to help his students understand how complex environmental and human health issues are interrelated. The purpose of visiting Carmuse's facility was to demonstrate how through sound, environmental science, engineering, and operational excellence, Carmuse is able to produce lime, a natural chemical created from limestone that is used to clean air and water and for many other environmental, industrial, agricultural, and construction uses. Dr. Hickman's class was welcomed by Chris Ambrosno, an environmental engineer at Carmuse and Enmire production manager. There, the two Carmuse employees provided the students with an overview of the Black River facility, the company's mining operations, lime manufacturing operations, and discussed at great length the efforts that the company takes to make sure its team members are safe and the environment is protected during the mining and manufacturing process. So even though we have a smaller increase of socks through our stack by putting in a new kiln, we drastically reduce the amount of emissions coming out of the power plant. So it's, it's a win-win for everybody. While at the Carmuse facility, the college class was shown how limestone is taken from the mine, crushed, and manufactured into lime. The class saw the operation of lime kilns, where crushed limestone is heated to temperatures higher than 1800 degrees to create calcium oxide, or what is more commonly known as lime. The class also observed the technology that monitors each kiln in the laboratories that test for quality, safety, and consistency of the product. Here you're dealing with calcium oxide that we're hydrating basically and making a, a calcium hydroxide or a lime putty. When the power plants get done with it, it's uh, calcium sulfate, SO4, and it is very stable. It won't react, it won't do anything, that's why they use it in wall board. Carmuse then escorted the students around the outside of the facility demonstrating the precautions it takes to ensure the environment is minimally impacted and how the end product is shipped to users by rail, barge, and truck transportation. Carmuse has a long history of active involvement in the communities in which its operations are located, including working with high schools and colleges and their students to learn more about environmental science and engineering in a real-life environment. I'm Dr. John Hagman. I'm from Thomas More College, Department of Biology. During the summer, I teach an environmental class to non-science majors, and I always want to incorporate the environmental issues relative to the human health issues. That's why I do a lot of my field trips, because for the average student who looks at a computer screen all day long, everything's the same size. Get them out in the field, get them here at uh, Carmoose, and get them to see this is, a, this is a big operation. This is tough, hard work being done by some very uh, hard-working individuals, and uh, I overheard one of my students say, wow, these are some pretty smart guys here to, to run all this kind of stuff. they got to know all these details. And I think it's important for students to see that, you know, yeah, you might not be, uh, you know, in a college class with them. They need to see the uh, intellect and the ability of all these people are working on all these field trips and how valued their, their work in, uh, is, not only to the production of their product, but since it's an environmental science class, to the environment, helping them uh, clean, keeping the environment clean and keeping it healthy for all of us. Farm Moose is right up there with everybody. The amount of regulations that are that have to be met, uh, I'm very impressed. Uh, I see that they're doing their job and doing it well. And the sheer fact that we can look over and see their stacks and the, the opacity coming out of there is nice and clear. Uh, I've seen a lot of other stacks with other individual, uh, other locations that, let's put it this way, they probably can't say the same. So my hat's off to Carmoose for the work they do.